Hey, what's up guys? It's Joey here and today I got a quick update on the always on display mod for iPhone through the Misaka X app. If you have seen my previous video, you know what I'm talking about. So let's jump right in. So here's the thing. If you have been using the always on display mod on iOS 18, I got some news for you. Recently, Apple patched the exploit that made this mod possible. This means that on iOS 18 public beta 2 and developer beta 5, the mod is no longer available. So doesn't work. Yeah, it's a bummer, Apple shut it down. Now, I'm not super deep into the jailbreak scene, but from what I understand, the always on display and other mods like the dynamic island and charge limit modes aren't really what upset Apple. Instead, there was some buzz about a video from a dev showing Apple AI, Apple intelligence running on iPhone 13 mini. Now, as soon as that video started trending, Apple acted quickly and patched the exploit. So what that means for the Misaka X app? Well, according to Discord, the devs are feeling pretty down about Apple's move and we are still waiting to see if there will be any updates. But there's some good news. Apple just released iOS 18.0.1 and guess what? The always on display mod does still work on this version. Same goes for the charging mode. Here, let me show you. So I'm currently on 18.0.1 and always on display works without a problem. The same goes for charging mode. Here you can see I can choose if I want to limit the charging to 90% or 80% still works flawlessly. But there's a catch. If you're upgrading from iOS 18 to iOS 18.0.1, the mod will disappear. So you will have to reapply the mod just like you did before. So guys, if you're thinking about upgrading to iOS 18.0.1, it's totally fine. Just be ready to hook up your phone back to your Mac and go through the mod process again. Every Everything will still work. And even if you have accidentally upgraded to one of the betas, you are in luck. Apple still signs iOS 18. You can always head over to ipsw.me and download the iOS 18. Plug your iPhone into your Mac, navigate to your iPhone in Finder, hold the Option or Alt key on your keyboard and press Restore. Select the .ip psw file that you have downloaded and wait for the restore to complete just don't wait too long with this because apple could stop signing it anytime all right that's it for today's quick update thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one